Today on Rift Beards and Gear, we check out the Spiff Transient Processor plugin from Oak Sound. So I recently did a video about a plugin called Soothe 2 from Oak Sound. And while that is one of my favorite plugins, Soothe 2 kind of has a sibling plugin called Spiff. Now, Soothe deals with resonances, whereas Spiff primarily deals in transients. And we're gonna kind of dive into Spiff today in this video. Now, before we go any further, this is a sponsored video as Oak Sound has asked me to show you guys this plugin. However, all thoughts and opinions are mine. So before we dive into Spiff, I thought we would kind of go over what exactly we're talking about when we're talking about things like transients, because I think a lot of people may have a different idea of what a transient actually is, or maybe they're overcomplicating it. But simply put, a transient generally is referred to anything that suddenly changes in volume. Now, an easy example is the initial crack of a snare drum or anything percussive for that matter. But a transient can also be the pick attack on something like a guitar string or even the, the tongue going over the teeth sound when you're talking. Those are all transients. So enter Oak Sound's Spiff. Now Spiff is an adaptive transient processor and it cuts and boosts transients in an extremely detailed way. Now, if I were to compare Spiff to other transient shapers and designers, I would say that Spiff analyzes the incoming signal and applies the processing only to that frequency area specifically and not to the whole thing, leaving the rest of your signal intact. It's only gonna affect the things that you wanna affect. Because we're going to be dealing with transients and critical listening, I would definitely not recommend watching this video without some sort of headphones or studio monitors. Don't uh, don't watch this on your phone, please. I mean, watch it on your phone, but like, don't listen to it with your phone speakers, okay? Let's move on. So I have a mix here, and this is for a song called This Holiday, which my band Dragged Under did. Uh, a year ago, well, we recently re-recorded it live at home instead of the traditional studio version for a holiday thing, and I got to mix and track the whole thing. And I use Spiff all over this thing, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different examples and use cases on how I used Spiff to kind of spruce up and clean up my mix. So first, I'm just gonna let you hear a little bit of the song so, so you can just kind of know what you're listening to. This is this holiday. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up an instance of Spiff so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. And I'm gonna briefly explain just what we're looking at. If you saw the Soothe 2 video, this is a very similar situation. The main control, the depth control is on the left. We have our choices of either boosting transients or cutting transients as denoted by the different colors and the mode, basically think of these as modes. We have a stereo mode, stereo link, balance. We have the advanced section as well. Typically, I'm not playing around in the advanced very much with the exception of the oversample. If I'm going to put spiff on an entire mix, I will mess with the oversample. However, generally speaking, I'm not really messing with the resolution, the oversample, phase mode, or anything like that. Uh, next down here is the mix. We have a trim. Now, 
this is where all the business happens, in my opinion. This Delta lets you listen to what is actually, this is like the inverse of the effect of the plugin. This is actually letting you go behind the curtain and letting you hear what is being cut or boosted, and we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, we also have the bypass button, which as the other uh, little note says, is a latency compensated and click free bypass. I love this bypass button. I didn't know it was possible to do that. So we have sensitivity, decay, uh, de decay, uh, low frequency, high frequency, and sharpness, okay? So right now, what we're looking at is this instance of Spiff is on the kick drum of Kalen's kit. I'm gonna go ahead and solo Kalen's drum kit and his drum kit sounds like this. Now, as you can see, I'm using Spiff to boost some of the top and low, uh, top end and low end. And I'm dipping kind of the low mid area of like the 231 hertz area. But an interesting thing has happened because I'm dipping right here because there's a weird resonance on the kick drum. <laughs> I'm going to let you, I'm going to solo the kick drum and let you hear this. And then I'm going to bypass spiff and you will very clearly be able to hear what's going on. And I just, I kept hearing it in some of the ring out and it just really bugged me. And Instead of going to Soothe, I actually went with Spiff, trying to do something else and achieved something even better than I intended to do. So here's how the kick drum sounds with Spiff and then without. It's literally like in the in the drum sample that you hear, it's literally catching all of the uh, the other drums kind of resonating, and I'm taking that out with spiff. How cool is that? Like that really that tightens it up. Let's see if we can hear this in the mix or in the uh, in the drum mix. So here's just his kit soloed again. I'm gonna again bypass spiff. Uh, if you're not wearing headphones or if YouTube has compressed this audio, uh, you probably can't hear that, but maybe you can. I can hear it in the mix. I'm wearing in-ear monitors and I can hear this general uh, center channel kind of wash that kind of goes away when I introduce spiff. This is a great use of spiff, maybe unintended at that. However, it's a great use. So next, I wanna talk about the acoustic guitar section. Here's the section we're gonna be talking about. I'm gonna play this for you briefly, and then we're going to dive in to the acoustic guitars because I really love what Spiff did on the acoustic guitars of the song. This holiday, I wanna be alone. This holiday, I wanna be alone. Okay, acoustic guitars. So I'll let you in on a little secret. The, the, the strings on this acoustic guitar that I used to record this are dead. I need, to, I need to change the strings really bad on this acoustic guitar. Didn't have time for that. I needed to record the track, so I did and just worried about it later. Spiff to the rescue. So let's listen to the isolated track and then we're going to dive in to what I did with Spiff. So as you can see, I'm using this once again to boost some frequencies. I'm boosting, I'm basically adding all the pick attack. <laughs> so <clears throat> I have it at 100% stereo link, bounces at 100%. Uh, for my advanced, I didn't touch anything. Um, I'm gonna let you hear this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna push this delta button and let you hear how much it's adding.
it sounds like water, doesn't it? It's I I love that sound. I want my ringtone to be that. So I'm gonna play this in context and bypass spiff, and you will be able to hear how dead the guitar is. Check this out. be alone this holiday I want to be alone <laughs> the acoustic, acoustic guitar is so dead it's hilarious I heard back and I was like oh, maybe I should have changed the strings again spiff to the rescue I love this plugin it's adding it's just adding all basically all the pick attack that I would want in a very nice musical way to the acoustic guitar track now, along with this same part, we have Tony's vocal. Now, Tony's vocal, um, because it was a pretty naked sounding part, it's just the vocal and the guitar. Uh, he had a lot of um, he had a lot of mouth action going on. Let's go ahead and solo just the track. I'm going to uh, leave Spiff up, and I'm going to cycle between these so you can hear his vocal this holiday i want to be alone this holiday i'm gonna play that one more time switching in and out of the delta not bypass This holiday, I want to be alone. <laughs> that sound gross. That's what's being removed with spiff. Now, this is one of the times that I'm not boosting. I am cutting quite a bit, actually. I mean, I'm at six. I have this thing cranked. One more time. This holiday, I want to be alone. This holiday. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like hearing that <laughs> at all. So once again, spiff to the rescue with the very intimate sounding vocal with Tony. Now, another instance of spiff when it came to making things cut. In the middle of the song, I have some jingles, just like I did in the intro of the song. Uh, let me find those. Those are right here. Check this out. Get the hell away from me. Okay, so big distorted guitars, drum set crash and cymbals, how do I get those to cut? So I use spiff and I am cranking the crap out of the jingle bells. So I'm gonna play back the track. I'm going to bypass spiff on and off and you can hear how the bells just kinda, they get swallowed up with the mix as they would. I'm gonna start with it bypassed and then turn it on. Get the hell away from me. It's like you're turning up the volume, but I'm not turning up the volume on the whole entire uh, bell track. It's just the transients that I'm boosting on the initial percussive part of the bells, the jingles, right? So it's as if I'm raising the volume. I'm gonna turn off the vocal now, and I really want you to check out the jingle bells. Get the hell away from me. From me. Now I'm adding a ton of top end attack to the, the transients, uh, in spiff. I have the depth cranked. Um, notice I have the sensitivity cranked and the decay kind of down. Let's go ahead and play with that. Actually, I'm going to loop. B 
because these are such short attacks, I have the decay pretty cranked. So it's a slower decay. The, the lower I have the decay, the faster it's going to go away, but it's not enough. So it makes it, makes it kind of jumpy. Doesn't make it cut. Love that. Um, this really came in clutch because I was kind of pulling my hair out at one point going, how do I get these to cut without turning like the volume up with, with everything? Spit to the rescue. So lastly, I want to talk about the actual, I want to go back to the drums. And I want to talk about the drum bus specifically. Um, that's kind of cleaning up some symbols. In my case, it's actually kind of rounding off some of the attack of the snare, which is what I want. I'm going to play some of the drum kit soloed and I'm going to turn uh, spiff on and off. And now notice I also have this in the cut mode, not the boost mode. And the snare goes from pokey and kind of inconsistent to kind of a little bit more full bodied and kind of sitting much better within the context of the rest of the kit. Okay. I'm just going to play the kit and play with spiff a little bit. It's actually doing a lot to the snare drum, a little bit to the cymbals and the overheads, but mainly it's affecting that top most end of the snare. I like this effect that it's doing. I didn't do anything to spiff. I literally just put it on the drum bus and I left it. How cool is that? Okay, so what have we learned with spiff? Well, spiff can either be a tool to fix or a tool to create. Honestly, you could put this on a bunch of different things and, you know, you can make a bass that was uh, picked sound finger picked. For example, you're taking the transients off in that particular example. You can do all sorts of stuff with spiff. This is a really, really great tool to have in any mix engineer's toolbox. I use it all the time. I use it pretty much daily along with Soothe 2. Um, yeah, don't, don't forget about the brother. Of, uh, of Sue too. Spiff is just really, really handy and very, very precise when you need it to be. Uh, this plugin goes for about 170 bucks. I bought my copy, but um, yeah, head on over uh, to the link down below in the description and uh, tell Oak Sound Fluff sent you as well. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you want to further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, buy yourself something and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.